Hi everyone, I'm just going to show you today uh, my take on the old classic, which is making some feed troughs out of a piece of black plastic pipe. This is a um, nine inch pipe, unperforated twin wall. Uh, I don't know how to buy this new one, I haven't got any of that lying about. Um, three meters in length, so you can get two troughs out of this. Um, 225 mil. I think it cost me about 50 60 pounds with the delivery, something like that, which is not too bad if I can get two 10 foot troughs out of it. Anyway, I'm just going to show you how I do it. I'm sure you know lots of people have done this before, but this is just if you want to see how I do it. So, besides your pipe, hopefully, maybe you've got the other things lying around. I fortunately only have, so I don't need to buy them. You need some. Uh, 50 mil screws is a four times 50 so you need a few of those and then for the ends I use some six per two uh, this is some off cuts I've just put this one up, but it's actually too short it needs to be about a foot long um, and then tools wise you are gonna need a cordless drill um, and you're gonna need uh, something to cut the pipe so you can either use one of these with a thin blade in or you can cut it fairly easily actually with just a handsaw uh, any old handsaw or cut through plastic um, and you could probably use a jigsaw as well if you uh, got a nice straight line on it so you're going to need to cut the pipe twice uh, on both sides and luckily it has a, a line on it I don't know whether you can see on here where I've started to cut but actually where it's been made a manufacturer of it it's got two lines it's where it's made in two halves and then somehow joined together so if you can follow these lines down each side you'll get two perfectly straight lines and two perfectly straight troughs um, and that's how I cut this one. It's exactly on the other side uh, earlier. So in Blue Peter style, here's one I made earlier. In fact, I made two, one of two, of course. Uh, made these about 18 months ago. So they've had a bit of use now. So I know they're working quite well. So these are the pieces of wood that I put on the ends. And in order to do that, all I've done is screw it through the plastic all the way around maybe an inch inch and a half apart so you need about a dozen screws through the last uh, rib as it were into the wood um, and that's worked really well I wasn't sure how strong they were going to be but these have been thrown about quite a bit over the last 18 months and they haven't shown any signs of breaking off or coming loose um, and even if they did, I think worst case scenario is you just cut that last rib off and, and then re-screw them on. So they're, they're quite good. And also, because I've got some nice wooden blocks on the end, I can stack them up on the side, keep the water out of them, or stack them against the wall to stop me running over them. And I'm putting the bales in. So overall, I've been really pleased with how they are. The other good thing about them which is I like them is they're really light so you can easily pick one up with one hand and put it on here so so why do I use these well I have got let me just show you over here I have got metal troughs which you can hang on the feed barrier here now if you've got extra room and I've got some room in this shed so that I can put some on this side um, that's fine although I still actually in some ways prefer the plastic trough which I can put the corn in first and then I don't have all their heads <laughs> in the way and I end up with all the corn on the floor and so I put the corn in first and then I just left it onto the silage and when they finished I left it off and put them away so it's for the, for the amount of work the volt as I said they're very light it's uh, it's a good way of doing it and if they do spill any while well, it's going on the silage we use bale silage so you can't really throw the 
the, the feed straight onto the silage just end up wasting it but if any does come then it just ends up on the silage and obviously they can eat it which in some ways is better than the metal trough because if you get what I call a dribbler so he grabs a mouthful and then lifts his head up and drops it all over the floor well all he's doing is feeding the birds pigeons and vermin probably so unless you're brushing it up all the time so anyway that's my take on I guess a well-known classic which is making feed troughs out of a piece of feed pipe thanks for watching guys